How you doing guys? Neil here in the FM dugout. Today I'm bringing you episode 1 of my new Let's Play series, I'll Take the Low Road, where I take a team from the lowest division in Scotland and try and get them up to the top and maybe beyond and into Europe. So this picture here shows the Scottish pyramid structure as it currently stands for the 2015-2016 season. There's a slight change from the database update that I got previously where there was an East of Scotland Division 1 and a Premier Division. They've now combined into a 16 team division which you can see right at the bottom uh, alongside the South of Scotland Football League. That league ranks at 270th in the world and you can see from the text above that the English Regional Premier Division and First Division uh, are actually 151st and 189th so there's quite a gap there so this gives you some idea of how challenging this is going to be also the bottom structure there you actually have to win a playoff after you've won the league in order to get into the Scottish Lowland Football League so that's going to be pretty tough to do um, and then once you actually get into the Scottish Lowland Football League if you win it, you get a playoff against the Highland Football League winners. And the winner from there then plays a playoff against the Scottish League 2 bottom place team. So even though these teams can now get into the Scottish League, you can imagine how difficult this is actually going to be to do. So without further ado, let's jump into the team and see what we've got. So here we are, People's FC relatively new club founded in 2006 i think the previous club had problems financially uh obscure reputation so a half a star and uh, we're amateur so yeah this is one of the things i've never actually played as an amateur team in football manager before um, and you'll see the effects of that when we get onto the uh, squad screen so we have no transfer budget no available wage budget so you know, this is the fact that we're an amateur. We're not actually paying wages. We don't get a wage either. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting here. Stadium, Whitestone Park, capacity of 2,250, which I think is actually really good for um, a club this size. Um, certainly in Scotland, you don't get massive attendances anyway in the lower divisions. So yeah, there's some definite room to, to get uh, some people in there. So if we look at our general, you can see that we're in the East of Scotland League Premier Division. Uh, we're pre <laughs> predicted to finish 16th. Now, there are only 16 teams here. So, yeah, we're predicted to finish bottom. So, again, I think that'll be uh, quite a challenge to, to see if we can avoid that. Average ticket price, £3. What a bargain. You get yourself in there. £25 for a season ticket. And we've currently got... 10 of them <laughs> so probably on first name uh, basis for these guys so yeah that's that's the kind of overview here um let's let's have a look at uh, our squad now okay so it's a it's a fairly young squad if you look at the the ages and certainly the the better players all seem to be hovering around that kind of 20 year old mark and the older players uh further down not so impressive You'll notice I've actually got a probably the the, the kind of worst uh, rated player in the team in my starting lineup. Certainly the defensive area, um, we've only got three centre backs. Um, one of who is up here, Robbie McManus, who's actually looks like he's going to be pretty decent. Um, but then our other two centre backs are both down at the bottom end. So certainly uh, before the season starts. We're going to have to try and get in some uh, better players in that position. So, um, I I already had my favourite player. Uh, and they're not actually at the top here, so maybe my assistant doesn't really know what he's talking about. This man here, Darren Hawkins. Now, you've got to remember the level we're at here. Um, being in the, the sixth tier of Scottish football. Uh, so this guy here, I, I think he's got a lot of good qualities and um, likes to play as a shadow striker so if we highlight some of these here I mean his finishing and first touch could be a bit better technique and so on but cracking long shot now if you're playing behind uh, the striker 
that's that's the ideal position to take long shots. So I'll probably try and encourage him to do that. He's got a bit of aggression and bravery, so he's not afraid to get stuck in. Determined as well, so some good good mental attributes. Yeah, the physical not so great. Natural fitness at fourteen is quite good, so hopefully we'll will allow him to play the full ninety minutes. Um, but yeah, I'm expecting this guy to uh, to to do pretty well for us. Now again, as I said, amateur contract, so they don't get paid, but they don't actually have a contract. So I think it's going to be interesting to see whether or not we can hold on to this guy. Um, you know, if, if if a club who actually can offer him money comes in, I suspect he'll probably go. Um, and I don't know how long we're going to keep that amateur status, whether it's going to change to semi-pro if we get promoted uh, or not. So that's Dan Hawkins. Uh, he's, as I say, one of my favourite players. Now we've got Danny Wright up front. Um, now I'm, I, I like to play poachers, um, and I'll show you the tactics in a minute to, to show why. And again, you know... This guy's got good uh, mental ability here, so he's aggressive, he's determined, he's a good leader, um, which is kind of an odd trait, I think, to have in a, in a striker, especially something you're having as a poacher, but I think in the lower leagues, um, it's going to put him in good stead. You know, they're going to get stuck in, um, which is really what we need. It's, it's not going to be the beautiful game. It's going to be pretty ugly, I think, um, and that's sometimes what you need. You can see his first touch and finishing, um, you know, they're not, they're not grey. So I think, you know, and dribbling's not too bad either. Um, reasonable kind of pace. So I think he, he might do a good job for us this year as well. Working our way down, Martin Anderson, actually, if, if you saw in the, the club info screen, he's put down as our, our key player. Um, you know, he's not bad, yeah. Um, certainly his stats, apart from his passing, which is grey, you know, for a midfielder, is not particularly great, but his crossing's good. Again, another player who's determined. I'm sort of seeing a pattern here within the team. Um, pace all right for for a wide player. Um, so I think again, you know, he, he should be able to do something. He's 21 years old. Um, actual fitness maybe a bit low. Um, but we'll see how he goes. And moving on, um, who else have we got? We can look at uh, Robbie McManus. So this this is our our best central defender. Um, central defender you can see you know he's excellent jumping um, heading marking tackling all pretty decent so we've got him on a tackling individual training and see if we can get that up a little bit again another aggressive and determined player Braveries maybe you know would have been better having it a bit higher good work rate good teamwork um, yeah we'd probably want to work on his strength I think as well natural fitness is quite good pace is better than the other defenders um, they're a lot lower so I think uh, I think Robbie will will be our main man unless we can get somebody else in um, at centre back uh, what else we got oh yeah Keith Smith this guy here 16 years old as a goalkeeper now straight away I kind of saw the greens I thought great and then I looked at it and saw eccentricity and tendency to punch I think this guy might be a bit of a David James um, you know we'll, we'll need to see how he gets on because I think certainly um, you know he's he's lacking in, in some of the areas uh, here that that would look to have him a little bit better. Um, our other backup goalkeeper, uh, where's he gone to? Scott Gibson. So he's a bit more rounded, um, and it's going to be difficult to see who we go with. So Keith, for me, um, has has quite a bit of potential. You know he's sixteen. This guy here, though, determined, good leader, um, natural fitness is nice and high. So he he's going to be able to command the back line, I think. And you can see, you know, certainly his eccentricity is not nearly as high, nor his tendency to punch, rushing out, one-on-ones and so on. He's, he's better. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll just have to see how it goes in the games, whether, whether Keith's uh, eccentricity and tendency to punch are going to hinder him. Um, and give away some cheap goals. Um, so if we start looking at some of the other players that we've got, uh, Max Wilson, I've left him out. So, yeah, Max is he's one of these guys who, uh, yeah, I don't know how often he's going to play. Certainly, as I say, Hawkins is my preferred player. Um, but again, you know, 
high natural fitness, he's aggressive, he's determined, good composure, which is quite good in that area. I think if he can run into the box late, uh, he should be able to, to finish, but his finishing is too, so, you know, um, he won't be flustered at taking the shot, but he's not very good at shooting. Good dribbling, uh, passing, long shots again. So Hawkins, I think, had 13 of the long shots, which I think will be um, will be really useful to have. So we, this guy's probably going to be a backup to Hawkins. Uh, at right back, we've got Joe Galbraith, who's 17. Decent stats. Um, you know, I think uh, I think this boy has some potential. Marking is is really really low. Um, so hopefully we can get that going up a bit. Good passing though. Um, you know, and I want to try playing a kind of passing style of football. Um, you know, short passing. So that that's good to have that. Uh, anticipation's pretty poor. Concentration's poor. Good stamina. Uh, good natural fitness acceleration is not too bad so yeah I think I think he'll be alright um, as a right back um, if I look for a left back here we've got John Gallagher so again if we look at our full back row so again marking quite poor tackling's not too bad brave and determined again determination seems to be that recurring theme in this team uh, natural fitness 13 again that's what you're looking for in fullbacks um, so they can run up and down the wings throughout the game he's actually quite quick um, so yeah I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping we can maybe get him uh, forward and into a more advanced position uh, clip some balls into the, the box but the crossing is one so I'm gonna get him working on that um, there's probably not too many others of note uh, so I'll probably just uh, cover these guys later on in another video as and when we have to bring them in. So this is the lineup we're going with for the initial um, tactic, the starting lineup. And I like to kind of either play control or attacking. Um, control may be a bit more reserved, so I'm going to try that out in friendlies and see how it, how it plays out. I'll show you the team instructions. Uh, so, as I said, I like to play shorter passing. Um, I think that's the way football should be played. Um, and I will certainly want my players to, to play that way. I like to hit early crosses. Because um, I'm going to be, I've actually just noticed, yeah, want our striker to be playing as a, as a poacher. So, yeah, I, I like to play a poacher. Uh, I like to whip crosses in and get them in early. Uh, and the poacher hopefully can just nip in between the two central defenders assuming they're playing four at the back um, and maybe just poke the ball across the line I like to run at the defence again if I play with a high tempo uh, you know short passing whipping crosses in running at the defence I think just gives you that little extra edge um, I've certainly found in the past not having it on I don't seem to go for the, the other team's throat and that's really what I'm looking for. I want I want to finish teams off in this division. I know we're predicted to finish 16th, but you know I think it's a it's a decent team at the moment, and hopefully I can get some uh, strengthening done before the season starts off proper. So yeah, I've opted for Keith Smith at the moment. Now, if we look at the ratings, Scott Gibson, you know, isn't seen as 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 good a choice. Um, but as I say, if, if his eccentricity and his uh, tendency to punch start costing us goals and costing us games, um, that could change very, very quickly. Uh, the back line, Joel Galbraith, John Galgan, you can see here from the ratings that we've got a bit of work to do uh, to try and get some better players in. Very, very happy with the front end of the team. Um, so we're going with a, a ball-winning midfielder in Daniel McManus. Um, yeah, decent physicals, um, not too great in the other areas, but you know it's, it's the best is what we have on offer. Uh, then Max Wilson, going to play him in his less favoured position of central mid. Uh, natural fitness, good work, in, uh, work engine, determined and aggressive, decent passing, long shots and so on. So he he will definitely feature in in this area here as a as a deep lying playmaker. So these guys are going to sit a little deeper. 
and allow the front four to really go at the other team. So Martin Anderson, I think we covered him earlier on, he's going to play in the in the winger role. And we've got Jordan Scott on the other wing. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing spectacular. And then our key man, Darren Hawkins, uh, behind the poacher, Danny Wright, who I think, yeah, I mean, he, he, he's he's good enough. I think I think he'll he'll do a job for us this year. So that's the tactics. Um, and I think uh, what I'll do now, I'll come back in a bit once I've hopefully signed some other players played some of the friendlies uh, for the first game of the season. Okay, so the first game of the season is now upon us. Um, not a league game, it's actually the South East Scotland League Cup Group C. Now one of the things I've seen, uh, I did actually sort of simulate the season of this uh, league structure before just to make sure it was all working. I designed an awful lot of cup games. Um, so yeah, we, we start off against Eyemouth United today. And there's a lot of games in very quick succession. So Saturday, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, Saturday, and then a Tuesday game before we actually get started in the league. So probably do Spartans B as the next uh, live commentary game. But today it's going to be Eyemouth United. And there's a few things to kind of talk through. Uh, obviously some uh, weeks have passed and you can see we've had four friendlies, uh, one three, drawn one. Um, we've conceded eight goals, which I suppose was always going to be a worry um, with the formation I've got if the defenders weren't particularly up to scratch. Um, but you can see that we've scored what a total of 16 goals in four games, so on average 4-2 every game. It's not too bad. Um, I'm fairly pleased with it. I mean, obviously friendlies are trying to build up um, fitness levels as well. So, yeah, it's gone okay. So let's have a look at the transfers and see who's come in. So, quite a list. Um, some of you who know a bit more about Scottish football might recognise these two guys' names. Uh, the older veterans, so we've got Jose Tatongo. Um, I mean, again, these guys, you know, he's 39, but we don't actually pay him anything. So why not get him in? Um, you know, he can play in a, a variety of positions. Still got good skills, you know, natural fitness 17 at the age of 39, that's fantastic. He's also looked after himself. Um, so I think I think Jose is going to be uh, quite a, an important player this year. We've also signed Martin Hardy. Um, now we brought him in actually on a, a coach and player. Um, I was going to say contract. It's not really a contract, is it? Not getting paid. And you see, you know, his, his physicals have certainly tailed off. Um, but he's actually still retaining a lot of the, the good attributes that gave him his, his professional career um, through a number of the Scottish teams uh, he's been at. So, yeah, as I say, he's in as a coach and he's certainly helping out in that space. I've actually made him club captain um, at the moment and I think um, certainly that leadership uh, on and off the field will, will help the players. Um, yeah, I want to talk about these two guys here at the moment. So, Michael Mossy, as you can see from his, uh, his picture, he's a former Rangers youngster. I'm really quite imp impressed with this guy's ability. Um, you know, I think teamwork and work rate, fantastic to have that good stamina, natural fitness. Uh, marking, passing, tackling. I mean, tackling is excellent for a ball winning midfielder um, at this kind of level. Um, and to not be paying anything for him, uh, you know, I'd be expecting him to be snapped up at some point. Uh, it's going too well. So. Yeah, really pleased to get him in. He's actually our, our key player. Our hot prospect that we have um, is Luigi Huaro. If I pronounced that correctly. As you can see here, he came from Celtic. Um, and I think, again, you know, he's, he's going to be forming that kind of partnership um, with Michael. Yeah, maybe not quite as good um, as Michael Mossy, but you can see from the highlighted stats, certainly a, a cut above who we had at the, the start of the video. Uh, we've also signed Craig Burns, a new goalkeeper. Again, I, I wasn't sure about the two that we had. Um, Keith Wright just didn't seem to cut it um, in my est estimation because his eccentricity and tendency to punch were just too high. This guy seems like a much more rounded individual, uh, formerly at Aberdeen. So 
you know, the fact that we can get these guys in is really, really positive for the season ahead. Um, I missed out on a number of targets actually. Um, some really good players, some left backs and strikers who opted to go for teams that could actually offer them money. So, yeah. Anyway, Phil Story. This guy is going to be our main striker this year. If we have a look at his stats, again, I think he's pretty good for this level. Um, reasonable speed, uh, fairly composed, good finishing. So probably working his first touch, I think, in the training. But he's actually done really, really well in the friendly so far. Um, I'm not sure how many goals he's scored now. Quite a few. So I think he'll be a big player for us. Johnny Blake up next. Now. He's here as a central midfielder, but he actually is playing at right back for us at the moment just because he's that much better um, than the, the other options we have. We haven't strengthened in that area. Very, very rounded individual. Slightly older. Um, his career's kind of taken a bit of a dive, it must be said. You know, starting off in League One and dropping all the way down to, uh, well, <laughs> our East of Scotland Premier. And the next guy up is Anthony McGuigan, who is going to be our first choice left winger. Um, again, you know, pleased with teamwork, work rate, natural fitness, bit of flair. You know, that's something that we've been missing from a lot of the players. Crossing's all right. Probably work on it. I mean, certainly the technical side of things not too great. But the guy's sixteen, um, and we're working. Well, I've worked on getting some different coaches in. Um, again, very, very easy with the amateur status to just clear out the guys there and bring in some new people that can hopefully push on the team a little bit more off the pitch. Um, next up, Drew Wingate. Again, you'll see from his uh, picture where he was formerly at, Stennis Muir. Some of you probably thought it was Hearts. Um, so, a ball winning midfielder, probably going to be slightly behind Michael Mossy. Um, you know, great physicals you know all floating around the kind of 10 area um, very very happy with that good work rate um, yeah technical abilities are quite rounded as well I think um, 21 yeah he's maybe not not so much missed the boat but I think certainly he um, will, will be playing back up role to Michael Callum Thompson our first defensive um, reinforcement so I've, I tried to get a number of defensive targets. Um, they just chose to go to other teams and I was getting really frustrated thinking we weren't going to get anyone. Tried to make a, a bid for a couple of players um, and I was told that I, I couldn't, that they were either going to be drafted in the MLS or something else. I can't remember what it came up with. But it was actually that they were going to be taking part in the uh, Scottish trialists day. So that was where um, I managed to get Callum from. So you can see, I mean, apart from his stamina, um, which we can work on, great physicals, um, you know, I think I think it's really good um, to have. The mental side of things, yep, all right. Uh, marking, tackling, uh, and heading, you know, all fairly decent for this kind of level. So I think, without a doubt, he's probably going to be our, our main guy at the back. Also signed Keenan Bill, a left back. Really like the look of this guy. Uh, in fact, he's twenty. He's great, and um, you know I think I think he you know, again natural fitness fourteen starting to notice a pattern. Uh, I think he'll be able to run and down, run up and down the wing, no problem. Um, I can't actually remember where he was from, Berwick. Uh, so not really done a great deal in his career so far. Josh Peters, we signed on loan just as backup to Story, but you know I think he's actually good enough probably to. Um, to challenge for that position, but certainly, uh, Story's been the one in the friendlies doing the doing the damage up front, and then obviously, I just uh, got to the stage. You can see the date here. Uh, I actually signed these guys after the the last friendly. I just felt I didn't have enough cover um, in the the advanced midfield position. So I've signed Mike Jack. Now he's thirty one. He's older. He he's had more of a career. Um, again, it's kind of odd. He's Carlisle and Annan. One of the guys earlier had that, wasn't it? Johnny Blake. Um, but yeah, I mean, at 31, he's he's not going to be around for several seasons. But to be honest, if we make it up through the divisions, I'll be looking to replace a lot of these guys anyway. Um, I think 
he's excellent. I mean, obviously, he's going to be a penalty taker, probably going to be a free kick taker and pretty good at corners as well. So, our very own uh, David Beckham in the team. <clears throat> Last but not least is Sandy Lawless. When I replaced my chief scout, this was the guy he told me about. And, uh, yeah, he looks really good. I, I wish he was under 20 because... You know, some of his attributes there, um, you know, he's quick, he's fit, he's got good dribbling, um, long throws, well, it's not going to be particularly useful, I don't suppose, but being in the wing, um, I'll set him to take them on the right. But if he was a bit younger, I would feel he could maybe um, advance a little bit more. But, um, you know, I'm quite happy with him. I mean, he hasn't played a high level anyway. Lowland League's just uh, one above us at the moment, so... Yeah, those are the signings that we've made, and um, well, let's uh, get on with the, today's game. Okay, so as you can see here, first team lineup hasn't really changed a great deal. Uh, obviously, need to look at altering our bench. Um, I always put my defensive players. At the start of it, and I think we'll go with I'm tempted to play Mike Jack today just because I think his ability is better than Hawkins. Um, but he's not fit, so I'm probably not going to risk starting him. Um, yeah, I think I think we'll go with this side as it stands. So, first game of the season, first game of the journey, how can we get on? So we should make them suffer apparently, uh, it's always good to see. Preset my opposition instructions, I always go in hard, I always close down, um, and weaker foot the kind of key players. Okay, so let's see what we should come up with. Just let them know that they're favourites. Now I've actually started just talking assertively to these guys. I find that is the one way to get um, respect on the team. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this game pans out. Um, we've been fairly, fairly consistent. Oh, nice finish. Michael Mossy on his debut. Michael hasn't been that amazing in the friendlies, um, but he was playing at right back for a couple of the games, uh, left back for the game and then got into the centre midfield. Story with the goal, excellent hit, a couple of goals and debuts, but that's so much more. I think the one area of the team I am most concerned about is defence and certainly um, it's an area we're going to have to to clear up um, don't have any transfer funds so it really needs to be free transfers and they've pretty much all been exhausted at the moment story with another goal three goals in 15 minutes I think the pundit was right and they were absolutely bossing this 65% possession tackles won 88% another penalty can we make it four a hat trick for story in the first 19 minutes if he can put this away it looks like he's taking a knock but definitely going to let him try and take his hat trick the silence oh, of course he was going to smash that in what an absolutely amazing debut for the guy 3 goals in 19 minutes The strange thing is we've not been that impressive in, in friendlies, you know, it's, it's been fairly even, we've just managed to have that kind of cutting edge, but this is just turning into an absolute rout. It sounds like I'm complaining about it, but I'm not, I mean, I think this is, this is exactly what I was looking for. And this team play in the same division as ourselves, so, you know, I think with 5,000 to 1 odds we've been given in one in the league. Uh, we probably should have put some money in that because I think 
he might be at the top end. Oh dear, that's a terrible header. Awful, awful play from Johnny Bear. He was playing well. I'd expect to see that drop. Come up to 7.6. Gifted them that though. And he's made, oh, he nearly made another mistake there. Come on, Johnny, pass it. That's it. He was able to trick it in the wing. Hawkins, 5 1. Really, really happy with this first half performance. Um, I, mean, it, it, I think it really shows the, the quality of the players that we managed to sign. Um, they're, they're of a much, much higher level. So I tell the guys I'm happy. Hopefully, we'll. I mean, that's the thing. You tell them you're happy, and the guy who scores a hat trick just doesn't respond to it at all. Right, so let's see what can we do in the second half. I think they'll we'll probably find they'll take their foot off the gas. Oh dear. One area I didn't have great cover for. Okay, it looks like Cormac will come on. Let's just say I've got faith in you, which is a lie, because I don't think he's particularly good. They've been poor at set pieces. We lost uh, two or three goals in the last game. Uh, from set pieces, from a corner and a throw in. Uh, we always really look vulnerable um, and also on the break, which you'll see here. Hopefully, Burns can. Nope, Burns can't stop it. So, um, score five and concede two. I think this might be a recurring theme of this year. Um, unless we can get some central defenders in from somewhere, maybe we can get a loan deal. Uh, the trouble is, not many of the bigger teams will want to let the players go uh, to these kind of divisions. Cormac Katongo. Oh, that was a setter. How did he miss? I think all in all, it's been pretty impressive. Um, I'm just looking at some subs here. Manus is maybe a little tired, but I don't have any central defenders. And I'm not going to change your formation at this point. Just take the ball down. Why did you do that? All you had to do was control it. Luckily he couldn't hit Cow's backside with a banjo. See, again, they're just sitting too far up. Uh, I think what we, what we should uh, look at doing is make a couple of changes, freshen things up. I, don't have any defensive players. Uh, I think Michael Mossy might actually be able to play. Well, there you go. <laughs> Even better than what we have on offer. So we'll give Drew a game. And I think we'll give Peters a run out as well. Uh, just to see how that, that goes. So yeah, I think it's a 5-2, I'd be quite happy with that. Um, second half performance, as I say, I th just had a feeling they'd take the foot off the gas. Um, go Katongo. Two men out wide at 39 years old. Poor touch from Strody there. And here comes another break. I mean, we really outnumbered them. And we nearly brought a goal. Come on, lad, kick it. So as you can see here, it's going to be a, a league system. Um, I'm assuming that the team that finishes top get through to the next round, uh, kind of like the Europa League. I'm surely not going to get caught out here. A little bit disappointed with Levy Farrell's performance today. Uh, 6.9, not particularly great. Um, yeah, we just we really let him back into it. Um, and that, but that was going to be a penalty. Well, it was Peters. Excellent. I think all in all, that went pretty well. Um, 
morale seems quite high at the moment, which is always, I think, a really, really important aspect of this game. Um, you know, when things go bad, that's when you really suffer. It doesn't matter how good your players are. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think we absolutely smashed this game. Really, really happy with that. Okay, so, yeah, as I say, I'll carry on and play these, uh, the remaining games in this South East League Cup Group C. And I'll be back to give you an update on it and for the Spartans game. See you later.